right, guys, today we're going to be talking about a panel change and, you know, how much does it cost? And I wish it was a really cut and dry, easy to explain question, but we're going to take just a few minutes here today and I'm going to cover pretty much every basic scenario that you could cover. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, there's five normal scenarios. Now, there are a lot of abnormal scenarios where you have to move it out of a closet, move it out of a, you know, a space where it's not supposed to be. But we're going to talk about five normal scenarios that are probably going to be pretty typical and you can base any abnormal situation off of these prices. All right, so there's going to be five situations. One is the panel only. So we're going to come into your home and change the panel only. Number two is we're going to come in and we're going to change the panel and the meter socket. Now, when I talk about meter socket, I'm not talking about the little glass part. Your utility company owns that. I'm talking about the outside actual box, the actual meter box. Sometimes we have to come in and put a panel meter disconnect combo. If you notice there that this one has a place for the meter, but it also has a breaker right underneath it. And that's going to be the place where your main house disconnect is at. Sometimes local codes require it. Sometimes the NEC, the National Electrical Code requires it. Sometimes it's just practical to put it there and another scenario is going to be if we do the panel the meter socket or disconnect combo and the riser now what the riser is is the piece that's taking the wire up to the service up above now you could have an underground service a lot of times it's going to be through the air and you can gauge your prices based off of your scenario for everything that we're going to learn in this video so in this case a lot of times we're going to replace the wire the pipe the roof boot the weather head the uh, clasping point there's lots of different you know, scenarios here. And that's why you'll notice that the prices that I give you today have a pretty wide range because there's lots of different little nuances and different things that you can run into. Uh, just for instance, if you do have to replace the metal pipe going up, and it fluxes based on market, but right now in our area, a stick of two and a half inch rigid conduit is over $150. So sometimes it's only $100. So just the parts can make a huge difference on the overall cost of your panel change. And finally, the last scenario is just a service upgrade. When we take a 100 amp service, this is an example of a service upgrade, where we take a 100 amp service and we upgrade it to a 200 amp service. Now you may have to go from a 200 to a 225 or from a 200 all the way up to a 400. There's lots of different service upgrades, but a very common one is when you do 100 amp all the way up to a 200 amp. And we're going to break down all of these scenarios, what you can expect as far as pricing goes and kind of what you're going to be getting for your money. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, let's go ahead and start with the panel change only. And I put best case scenario because there's lots of different things that could happen that could change this price. And I give you a very large range here to hopefully accommodate for some of those. All right, so this is assuming that your meter socket outside is in good condition. I'm only having to come in and replace the only. Uh, the panel only and also this is assuming that the code doesn't require you to have a disconnect so we're saying that i can leave the outside alone that's also assuming that the riser wire is in good shape and i can leave it alone outside and also the wire going from outside to in is in good shape um, sometimes we do have to replace this on a panel only but a lot of times it can be reused okay and that we're changing the panel only just like it says so we're just doing a panel change only this is the best case scenario all right so the job cost is going to be approximately in between twelve hundred fifty dollars and eighteen hundred dollars total parts permit and labor so it's going to take a full day sometimes there's a day and a half with a prep day but most of the time it's just a full day for two or more electricians it just takes a lot for it all to come together and i have other videos explaining about what you can expect on panel change day now what this job is going to include um and this is not you know an all inclusive list but this is going to include a lot of the common things you're going to be changing the panel you're going to be installing new breakers you're going to properly ground and bond the system if it needs it you're going to install smoke and carbon monoxide detectors where required by code you're going to install an inner system bonding strip and i'll let your uh electrician explain that to you it's just joining your cable and your service system and there may be other local or nec requirements that are required in your area or just things that the inspector likes to see so this is kind of a you know pretty standard best case scenario price there are a lot of different things that could shoot this higher and you may be able to get it lower if you get it too much lower i want you to be wary okay there's there's a market normal and there's a reason that it's normal because the average qualified good good standing you know going to deliver good work electrician this is just how much it costs to do it and to operate and to be able to function so if you get a price around 800 900 including the parts i would be very i would be very careful so just be very careful watch what you're doing make sure that you're not getting it if it sounds too good to be true it usually is 
All right, let's deal with the second scenario. We have a panel, a meter base, and this is the best case scenario. So this is coming out. We're coming out and we're changing out the meter socket. This is assuming that the service riser and the wire is in good shape. The wire going from inside to outside may need to be replaced, and often that does. And then in this case, you're going to be changing the panel and the meter socket outside. So it does add to the project. It still often can be done in one day, but it does add quite a bit of labor. Logistically, sometimes it can be very tough to change out the meter socket. Okay, so this job here, we call it an inside outside, is gonna be in between 1500 and 2200 total parts permit and labor. And that's gonna vary based on your circumstances. What you can expect with this job is the changing of the panel, breakers, the meter socket, and often the wire going from inside to outside, but not always. Properly grounding and bonding the system, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, inter system bonding, and other local code requirements. All right, now let's deal with the panel meter disconnect combo. This is essentially going to be a lot like changing the panel and the meter, but this does add more to the parts for sure. A normal meter socket's around $35 to $50. A normal meter disconnect combo is anywhere from $120 all the way up to $220. So it just depends on your scenario. And if you're doing a 400 amp service, some of those meter disconnect combos can be eight and nine hundred dollars. So just you know, just you know, take all that into consideration. But it is logistically harder. If you look at this panel here, it's obviously much larger than the other meter socket so it just logistically it just takes more for the electrician to make it work and make it code compliant this is assuming that the service riser and wires in good shape the wire going from inside to outside may need to be replaced we're going to be changing the panel we're going to be adding a meter disconnect combo you can expect a price of anywhere from 1600 to 2500 total parts permit and labor and this job is going to include changing the panels, breakers, adding a meter disconnect combo, often the wire going from inside to out, properly grounding and bonding the system, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors where required, inner system bonding, and other local codes. Okay, now let's go ahead and change out the whole thing. This is the panel, meter socket, or disconnect combo, and the riser. This is going to be the best case. This is assuming that just everything needs to be replaced. We may be able to save a little bit and save you some money, like the metal pipe going through the roof if it's in good shape, but sometimes it's just all got to come out or it's improperly sized to code. So this is going to be changing your panel. This is going to be adding a new meter system change, whatever it calls for in the code. This is also going to be a riser change. This adds quite a bit to the job as far as labor, logistics, material, planning it just adds a lot to it and it also reflects in the cost so you're going to expect them between 1800 and 3500 total parts and permit i've been on the lower end and i've been on the extreme upper end it just depends on the situation how far away your indoor panel is from your outdoor panel if that pipe needs to be replaced there's just so many different things that could happen here that's going to but if you get a price somewhere in there and you know it looks good and you trust the person and it, se it seems like a person of integrity and they have good um, you know qualifications you can pay a little bit less but if somebody's not qualified or they're not integrity listen if someone is charging you less they're not losing money you're losing some type of service or quality of material they might charge you a little bit less but you're you're the one that's losing they're not going to lose if they're the type of person that will come in and cut somebody else's throat just to get the job then they're the type of person that will buy a cheaper fitting and put it on your job just to save that offset so just keep that in mind there all right so this job includes changing panel changing breakers adding a meter system service riser weatherhead new wire inside and out new wire up the riser uh, properly grounding and bonding the system smoke and carbon monoxide detectors inner system bonding and other local code requirements all right, let's go ahead and look at the last one. Let's talk about the service upgrade. This is when we're doing everything and we're literally upgrading from 100 amps to 200 amps or 200 to 225 or 225 to 400 or whatever the scenario is. And this is when we're literally, you really can't usually save a piece of this because the, the pipe was smaller, the wire was smaller, everything's just a total loss. We got to completely redo it. So everything needs to be replaced. We're changing the panel, the meter system change. We're doing a riser change. This is going to run in between 1800 and 3500 you know it could go much higher total in parts and permit and labor all right this job includes changing the panel breakers meter system weatherhead new uh inside and outside definitely going to be re replacing the riser pipe and the riser wire properly grounding and bonding the system smoke and mark mar it's it's smoke and carbon monoxide detectors inner system bonding and other local code requirements so i hope we've taken a few minutes today giving you a good idea of what it takes what it entails about changing a panel and what the cost is going to be let's get to it